I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be having a little look at Hi Ren. This song has been out about three months. It's got three and a half million views in that time, which is quite unusual for a song by an artist that is relatively unknown. What's more, I've had a flood of requests just recently in the last couple of weeks to do this and that's quite unusual. And in the comments that have asked me to analyse it, they mention about how it's just sort of otherworldly, unparalleled musical work. Everyone on my Discord is talking about it and I'm just extremely intrigued. I don't think this will be particularly easy listening. At least I'm not sensitive and just never get emotional about singers. So we should be fine. Make sure you stick around stick around to the end for today's oracle card. Without further ado and stuff, I'm gonna get my headphones and then we're gonna check it out. Blimey, it's a long one, nine minutes and 19 seconds, so um, get comfy. You want a nice brew on the go and a glass of water, obviously. Hydration comes first. Okay, this is Lolly from the future, really quick. I just wanna say that I've watched the whole thing and I was completely speechless, like I just had to follow it all the way to the end. I'm gonna go back over it now and stop it. I have to stop it for the copyright thing anyway, and just see if I can analyze it in a little bit more detail. Just so you know how the structure of this video is gonna work. See you in the future. <laughs> I'm the shepherd, not your place to lead me Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me Hi Bren, I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself Since my therapist told me I'm ill And I've been making some progress lately And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much man I think we need to just step back and chill Even from the very beginning there is a very clear dichotomy of moods Starting from the plucking in the guitar <laughs> He's plucking those strings so hard, just deliberately overdoing it. His frustration seems to be seeping out of the performance of the guitar alone before he even opens his mouth. When the singing gets a little bit more calm, he just plays the guitar very normally. Hi Bren, I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. These contrasts are everywhere and in even the smallest details. For example, even in his little melodic hook. <laughs> There's nothing remotely melancholic at all about that little section. However, straight after, we've changed that little melody using that minor second interval, that little semitone difference. That's the interval that we classically use in music composition to imply threat, for example. That is the power of music theory. Straight away, we're introduced to the idea of impending threat. Step back and chill, Ren. You sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this ten-step program. Rejoice, all your problems will be gone. Dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place, and my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered 
For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk man Cause when you're with me it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one So you see, you gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. When he's talking about the more supportive, positive version of himself, a lot of what he's singing in these sections is very bright. He's got a lovely wide open mouth and it's got this kind of confident definitive tone about it. But occasionally it wavers. The confident part of this aura is when his phrases sort of resolve down and finish nicely in the chord. The melodic structure is sort of da na 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 Da na 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 na, da na 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 na, da na 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 na. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place, and my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Because when you're with me, you never seem to help. But then that nervous quality comes from when the voice is occasionally breaking into that little falsetto flip thing that he utilizes throughout all of the vocal delivery in the more destructive version of himself so that it starts to creep in insinuating that the other voice is gonna come back because when you're with me it never seems to help you think that you can amputate me the vocal delivery of the more destructive version of himself also contains far more extreme wild vocal techniques hi Ren you've got this little bit of distortion uh, down there and then obviously the consistent flipping into thin folds. That voice literally seems to also be consistently stronger than the other voice, despite occasionally that other voice coming across as quite confident, it's still nowhere near as powerful as the destructive one. So we can read into that what we will. And from the melody structure point of view as well, the mean voice is far more sporadic and unpredictable. There's no sort of set phrasing, but the more stable version of himself has more stability in the melodic writing. But my music is really connecting and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough because this life's been tough. So it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong When I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal Rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success Is stealing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore F*** you I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us that The journey, although it isn't linear in any song There's usually some kind of broad structure Maybe it goes up, down, then up, and then down again or something But this is completely non-linear It's not even like that It's like that <laughs> He's not storytelling in a way that I have ever heard anyone storytell musically before. This is what makes it so captivating and why it was almost impossible to pause. I find it really interesting how he's referring to both of his inner voices as the same person. He's addressing them both as Ren. I think it really speaks volumes about how far he must have come in his recovery to be able to write something so exposing and visceral because even a part of himself that is so destructive and immobilizing rather devastational he's choosing to identify with that as much as he's choosing to identify with the other part of himself i think demonstrative musical works can be far more potent for a listener by not addressing us or telling us how we should behave we feel truly disarmed and merely a spectator of someone's healing process. That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you, say it, instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process, and if people can find something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus. F you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren. I'ma fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren. I'ma do it, watch me prove it, who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. 
News flash. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin. That transition is absolutely stunning. The kind, stable version of himself telling the mean version that he is going to kill him and destroy him and then realising that he actually can't because that's the way that he is. That is true for a lot of conditions and predispositions. You don't get rid of them completely. I can only talk from the personal experience that I've had with depression. There have been many times in my life so far where I thought I'd conquered it. I just cured depression. It was done. I never had to deal with it anymore. I've healed from the disease. When it comes back the same way, the same exact physical symptoms, it felt like a failure because I thought that I'd re it or something. The older I get, the more I realise that you have to be nice to yourself and realistic about these things. For whatever reason, whatever traumas we've had and however we were developed when we were very young in life, however these synapses were created, it might be the case that what's done is done. And although that does sound tragic and sad, it doesn't mean that we can't cope with it. It's just something that we've got to be aware of, a part of us that can rear its ugly head at any time, but it's okay because there's always help, people understand, and it's so powerful to see it depicted in that way. Go on the journey with yourself and take each day as it comes. I think if anyone has suffered with anything, you need to hear this because you don't have to heroically heal from everything. You just need to accept it and understand yourself. Good things will happen. This is especially and weirdly pertinent to me because obviously he's called Ren and he keeps referring to himself as Ren and I used to just go by Ren and I wasn't really coping that well. It literally feels like he's talking to me so it's a very, very powerful experience for me. <laughs> Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies, Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender when standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips, so you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. how the section where he lyrically depicts stuff like death and chaos and all of that kind of shreddy metal power chords. <laughs> a very appropriate integration of a snippet of that genre. I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself And I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet and you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shade there's so many streams of human experience in this that one of them is bound to flow into our river. The nature of his illness or illnesses sounds extremely complex, so there won't be many of us, perhaps, that can relate to exactly what he's going through, but we can certainly all recognise what it's like to have an inner battle. Things that make us feel genuine happiness and then the things that carry so many more complications to do with what you're supposed to be doing and what would make us more successful on a material level or on a grand scale. As much as we may lust 
after this image of ourselves being very successful in all of the ways that everyone else would also deem us successful, we actually perhaps want something that doesn't look like that at all, but we don't want to admit it to ourselves because there's too much pressure. Someone like him delivering his story in such a unique, refreshing, visceral, emotional way that's also proving to be successful as well, if you wanna consider the amount of views that it's had or whatever in such a short time, that is so inspiring to everyone, whether you make music or not, has then validated so many people that thought they were abnormal because they were only looking at these sparkly people and perhaps encouraged them to be a little bit more true to themselves and to the world because that is now proving to make its way out into society and people are accepting it. To be this brave and proud of yourself and confident that you can always win against the ill part of you to me, defines someone that's healed. Someone that knows this part of them is gonna be there for the foreseeable future, but they can always, as he said, prosper. It's wonderful. So coward the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, a mortal like you, we're a different side. The little bit of strain that you hear and the veins kind of popping out, although that's not recommended for long-term voice use, it was such a necessarily strong and gallant way to deliver this moral of the story. Different side. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And then so of course we then have the hook. Happy and the demonic -y one, but they're both part of him. So even though that moral of the story is established, the other version of him, it doesn't go away, but he can cope with it. <laughs> The true version of himself called him a genius in the lyrics and I totally agree with him. So that almost brings us to the end of today's video, but not until we read today's oracle card. Oh my god. Wow. Can you just enjoy the moment more? Can you switch off the head noise and just be? Give it a try. You might like it. If you want it and can't get it, then find out how to do it. Simple. Oh my god, these oracle cards are scary. Oh, I swear I do not plan these. I'm literally just reading them in the order I got them. So the ones that I've read go at the back. This is next week's one, The Raven of Reflection. There's a very powerful energy in here between us. I feel it. Hmm. Exciting. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers you would like to see me react to, please do let me know down below in the comments as it would be my pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye.